As you know, I'm here on behalf of my family for the purpose of expressing what we believe is the true character of my father. <sighs> no one really knows how much we have been through this ordeal in the last nine years. Excuse me. My experience with him is, is that he's like my best friend and my rock. And as a family, we recognize that he is not the perfect man, but he's clearly a man and a father who has done his best to behave in a way that speaks to his overall nature and character, which is always to be positive no matter what. He has spent the last nine years in Lovelock, as we all know, and has been a perfect inmate following all the rules and making the best of the situation, which is truly amazing to me under the circumstances. The choice that he made nine years ago that resulted in the sentencing were clearly inappropriate and wrong and counterproductive to what he We were all there at the wedding of a very good friend. As his daughter, I can honestly say my dad recognizes that he took the wrong approach and could not handle the situation. He could have handled it differently. My siblings, I, and family know that he didn't make the right decision on that day, but we know that his intentions were not to go in and to just make the wrong decision at the wrong time. Throughout this ordeal, we have remained close. We have stayed strong. And I, for myself, am grateful to God for giving us the strength to get through this last nine years and to stay positive always, no matter what. And a lot of that is because of him. So on behalf of my family, my brother, my sister, an aunt, an uncle, his friends, we just want him to come home. We really do, we want him to come home and I know in my heart that he is very humbled throughout the situation. Um, this has been hard, let me be honest, this has been really truly hard. And there's no right or wrong way to explain how to handle this. But we do know that, oh, I know that he is remorseful.